hi everyone welcome back this is Madan in this demo we are going to learn how we can uh, retrieve and store data our product information into database from our API controller that is the product API controller so this is the project that we created in our earliest dem earlier demo so I'm just running the project uh, and uh, let's see what we have from our previous demo so this is what we made in our previous demo but uh, uh, we are not storing our product into the database table now we are going to do that and in order to store data into database and fetch data from database uh, i'm going to use dapper in this tutorial series uh, of course you can use entity framework core and if you don't know how to use entity framework core then you can visit my previous uh, playlist about asp.net core mbc or you can browse on the internet and uh, why I'm using da Dapper because Entity Framework Core has the performance related issue and uh, Dapper also known as the king of micro ORM is very efficient and uh, we are going to use Dapper in this case. Uh, Dapper is also used by used and developed by Stack Overflow so you can imagine how powerful and efficient it is so if you already know about adio.net and you want to use the power or performance of adio.net but don't want to do the database uh, table to object mapping by yourself then dapper comes into rescue so we are going to use dapper in this demo to create update delete and retrieve data from database so if we want to use dapper then we have to build our uh, database table by ourselves so this is the controller that we left from our previous demo and uh, i'm going to code right from this um, controller first of all we are going to create a table so here we have a product um, class first of all let's move this product class into its own file so move to type product.cs and now it has been moved here but i want to keep this product inside the models folder or you can say inside the domain folder so i'm going to add a folder here let's name this a domain domain d o m a domain and then let's move this product into domain and uh, let's change the namespace uh, of this into domain dot d o m a i n domain and then we need to update it here so all the error has gone away now we have this product here and uh, let's create a database table for this product let's create database and then table. we have a two field id and name and in order to use the dapper uh, if you don't want to do extra hassle then you should uh, you should rename you should name the column of the database table exactly same as the name of the property id and the name so here i am using the sql server i'm going to copy the name of the server here. connect and then let's create a database here Okay, my computer is little bit slow I don't know why let's right click on database new database and then come on web API demo click on ok web api demo has been created now let's create a new table in this web api demo so create table prd products id so i am naming the column name exactly same uh, as that of the properties name of the class id and the name so id int primary key ID int identity let's increment this by one and then name let's keep it n bar 200 and then not null so this is a simple table 
and let's keep things simple site secure so we have created a table our databases web api demo now let's uh, specify the connection string for our project and then connection string let's name this the default connection and then server equal to your database server uh, database equal to web api demo and your username and password user password so this is my password now we have set up the configure connection string here now let's go to the new get package manager and then install the dapper here manage new get package dapper come on install okay dapper has been installed now i'm going to create a class called connection provider that provides a connection database connection to the other class or wherever we need so i'm going to add a new class here new class db connection provider.cs and then this will return we'll define one method here public idb connection our sql connection is represented by idb connection and we are going to return idb connection get database connection and in this class we need to inject configuration provider i configuration here i configuration to access the connection string from the app setting file and i'm going to create a let's create a field here let's create a field here connection provider so underscore underscore and then this idb connection comes from system dot data i'm going to remove the unused namespaces now this will return now we will hear what we are going to do is we will create a new sql connection variable sql connection equal to new sql connection and we need to include this package system.data.sql client so i'm going to do so connection now this sql connection accepts you can see connection string and we get the connection string from configuration dot get connection string oh my god dot get connection string and we need to specify the the key for the connection string which is default connection this one so let's copy this and then paste it here and then we are going to return sql connection from here or we can simplify this and then return new sql connection from here let's save this and now i'm going to since we are using uh, injecting <coughs> i configuration here this has to be managed through the dependency injection so i'm going to create the interface extract the interface from this db connection provider so the interface has been created and uh, we can see the interface here idb connection provider now in the startup.cs we are going to configure this services dot add transient idb connection provider db connection provider 
now we can inject this IDB connection provider from our uh, classes repository services uh, or uh, wherever we want database connection and then pass query execute query to the database so i don't want to keep this video too long so this is it for this video friend and uh, we will continue uh, <coughs> this uh, dappers uh, we will continue uh, to add feature uh, in our next video and in our next video we will be uh, uh, fetching and uh, storing product information into the database table by using this product api controller thanks for watching and have a great day